storm related power outages, leaving hundreds of thousands of customers across Oregon and Southwest Washington without power. The latest nighttime numbers here showing more than 73,000 PGE customers spending the night in the dark, more than 700 affected by Pacific power outages as well. And those widespread outages sparked by storm force winds that sent trees and branches onto wires all day long. Elise Haas talking with people, finding out what they experienced, and she joins us live now. And at least things have calmed down, but again, not everyone's power is back on, Elise. Yeah, once the sun went down, Liz, the winds really died down too. Um, but the folks that we talked to said that they knew it was going to be a busy day for the power crews because they woke up to the winds rattling their windows and shaking their homes. I mean, being on Foster, you get hella windstorms down here all the time. But the windstorm today felt different. I mean, honestly, I'm from the East Coast, and this just feels like hurricane weather right now. Vincent Seedler lives on Southeast 72nd near Foster. These maple trees are at the end of their lifespan. The neighbors say multiple downed trees on the block are a sign the city of Portland needs to trim and assess this boulevard of broken trees. Across the region, the high winds blew debris into power lines, took down trees, and damaged high voltage transmissions, like this massive tree that split near Bybee in Selwood. Pacific Power and PGE reported the widespread strong winds ranging from 40 to 80 miles per hour challenged the restoration during the day. But as the winds died down after the sun went down, service crews are working throughout the night to restore power, even with hundreds of power crews and help from personnel from California, Idaho and Washington. PGE says it will take a while to assess the damage and restore power fully. So for the folks along Foster weathering the storm. We do keep seeing branches falling off um, and we're really lucky nothing has hit a line yet. They're feeling lucky. At least their lights are still on. And power crews really just want to remind you to avoid any down lines if you see them that also goes for not driving over them too. Um, but if you do come up to a down power line, be sure to call your power company, notify them where it is so that way they know it's on their radar. Live in Southeast Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Gosh, and that destruction really says it all. Elise, thank you.